Speak no evil, James McAvoy plays crazy again, and he plays crazy pretty good in this one. So, what do you think of Speak No Evil? I ain't gonna lie, it started slow for me, but it was a real good watch, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I liked his character, he was very, very, like one of those, like he was nice, and then he just flipped the script on you and was like crazy, so it was, like, he did his thing, like, um... I keep forgetting his 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 name. I can James, never remember his name. James McAvoy. He did a thing. I ain't gonna lie. I liked it. It was it was good. It, it it was just like it made me ask more questions about the original one. Yeah, like how they did it, and you know, compared to this like, one. Yeah, I was thinking like it, the same thing. Like was it like like did they keep it the same or did they change it? Did they add anything new? Because when you look it up, you see that the scream scenes is the same. So I guess they both did the same scene where they both scream. No spoilers. I'm sorry, but yeah, it, it was it was it was crazy. Because when it flipped, it flipped. <laughs> like like you could tell why it was called Speak No Evil. All right, let's 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 start like real quick with like with James McAvoy, his portrayal of the character. And I also want to mention like, that I just like found out, found it kind of funny too, that he bases his character, the the actor James McAvoy, bases his character on Andrew Tate. So I'm like, how? Where does he get it from? And it's like, you kind of see a little bit of like his mannerisms and how he acts in the film. But like, you let me know what you think, how he portrayed his character and how he did crazy in this movie. I know. Uh, when I heard that comment, it made me want to watch the movie to see if he really, really did act like that and i i ain't gonna lie he, like when he started screaming he was going crazy but it's like us it was like he he knew when to flip it you feel me like he knew when to be evil and he knew when to like like act like he didn't know no better like no it's okay i'm so i, I didn't mean like you know what I'm saying? he knew what he was doing but the pacing the pacing i thought was pretty good because it's like you know like you already know bro like yeah, every horror movie People, starts off like no, that. but not just that. Like real life, like real life, uh, like basically, smart and street smart are two different things. And street smart don't mm -hmm. gotta be about hood things. It don't gotta be about gang things. It don't gotta be about oh. you know, nothing ghetto. But street smart meaning like. You get these people. You get these, this family that that's insistent yeah. on inviting you to for a vacation or to to stay with them. You don't know them. You don't know who they, what they are, who they are, where they come from. They just give you this story, and then you just go into this person's home, and then it's like almost like you're giving so many like uh, privileges. Like you're letting, like for example, the father and the wife, the dynamic of how they was letting James McAvoy's character kind of like you know take over, and they wouldn't say nothing as parents. Like you know, like we'll just say with the the one scene with the scooter, like. How are you going to have yeah. the guy's daughter on the scooter with James McAvoy? You don't know yeah. the guy. You let the you let James McAvoy take your daughter on the scooter and go around the corner not knowing what the hell could happen, where he's going to take her. Like, that's what was crazy, yeah. Me, man. Yeah, it was It was more like he didn't have no backbone. I guess he probably the profiled father, him. Right? Yeah, the father. Yeah, yeah. He, is. yeah he, probably, he probably profiled him. He probably, you know, no spoilers, but they... They've been doing that for a long time, and he he, he probably scouted him out, saw his weakness, and and took advantage of that because he was running the show. Like whatever he wanted, whatever he bro, he got his way with the dad. With the yeah. mom, not too much. The mom was the fighter through and through. Yeah, he didn't want to hear that. Boy, James McAvoy was kind of like I don't know if the expression is or if you really say it passive aggressive, like almost like a yeah, he like was a, aggressive aggressive. Yeah, like a like a manipulative, sneaky, but an aggressive aggressive kind of like macho kind of way. If you want to understand, like like almost like putting pressure on him, like. And like, but smiling in his face and making it like look like you know it's normal, it's okay, it's cool. Hey, hey I'm gonna borrow one of the ladies' words, and he was narcissistic. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was really a narcissist. He, he was he was crazy, like. But it's like he knew how to blend it in, like like you didn't know if he was gonna do something evil or he was being genuinely nice or was it his wife. 
Because we all knew the movie was based on him. Yeah. We didn't know if his... We, I didn't even know he had a wife until I started watching the movies yeah. and I saw the trailer. So it's like... So I didn't know she was in on it, wasn't in on it. Like, what was her deal? But can't tell you, son. You need to watch. Yep. But it's, but it was good to the end. I ain't gonna lie. It started off a little slow. Because, you know, it was all the getting to know each other and... I, like, like, like he said, I really didn't understand how you let somebody grab your child and ride around with them, knowing that you don't know who they are. And, but the, and, and not to mention, you know, people will probably listen to this and they'll probably think that, oh, yeah. I mean, like, it's just like, what, just that and stuff? No, there's more. There's, there's other more. things <laughs> where they overstep their boundaries and they kind of yeah. disrespect. And, and it's like, I, I don't have say for someone else's daughter or, or like, yeah. intrude. And, you know, it's just crazy, man. Like Yeah, it was just, he, put it like this, not to give it too much away, but he was really handsy. Yeah. Really handsy with his wife. And it's like, some of us would have not let that slide. So it's like, we would have never made it to his crib to chill. We'd have never made it to his crib to chill the way he was acting. That's what I'm saying. Like, that, that couldn't be me. Really smart. You pick up yeah. your vibes and you'd be like, nah, I think it's best that, you know, we keep it public. Like, if you want to hang out now, nah, I'll meet you at this yeah, restaurant or, 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 you know, get to freaking there, find out what the hell these people's about before, like, staying in their house for, like, a little vacation weekend. And you don't even know what's going to go on with that, so. Yeah, it was just, there was a lot of weird things going on back and forth, but but it was, it was a good watch. I, 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 won't, I won't lie, it was a good watch. Well, he so. was, his character was amazing. As, as the villain, he was perfect as that villain. Speak no evil, you let us know. In the comment section what you think.